everyone how are you welcome back to my channel so i am supriya and today i am going to do the poem the nightingale and the clover exams are almost aa gaye so let's not waste a lot of time and get going so now this poem has been written by william now you tell me how do we pronounce this word ideally it should be pronounced as cowper but no we pronounce it as william cooper okay now who was william cooper william cooper was a was an 18th century english poet and he also used to write a lot of hymns other than this he was a poet who used to write about the minute sorrows and joys of the countryside countryside kya hota countryside is the rural life the village life right when we read this we get a fair idea that what is the setting of the poem the setting is the poem is about sorry is about a nightingale a nightingale is a little bird who has a melodious voice she sings really nicely so now what is the poet trying to say the poet is trying to say that a nightingale that all day long it's understood a nightingale that all day long the entire day subha se leke sham tak nightingale had cheered the village with his song so the nightingale nightingale kept on singing since morning she did not stop and by her songs what was she doing she was trying to cheer the village the, the villagers the inhabitants of the villages jo log village mein rehte hain unko she was trying to cheer up the entire day not yet at eve his notes are suspended ab eve kya hoti hai eve is the time of evening jaise birthday eve christmas eve new year eve aise hi eve not yet at eve his notes suspended notes notes are basically the जैसे माइनर्स और मेजर्स होते हैं जब हम म्यूजिक पढ़ते हैं तो सुर लगाना है एक तरीके से दैट दोज आर बेसिकली नोट सो द पोएट इज सेंग दैट शी डिड नॉट स्टॉप सिंगिंग अंटिल इवनिंग शी वॉज सिंगिंग ऑल डे शी वॉज सिंगिंग सिंस मॉर्निंग शी वॉज ट्राइंग टू चेयर अप ऑल द विलेजर्स ऑल द इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ द इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ द विलेजर्स एंड शी डिड नॉट स्टॉप टिल इवनिंग नॉट येट वेन इवन टाइड वॉज एंडेड what is even tide even tide is the time when the sun is going away and the night is falling in okay so she did not even stop at that time but soon jab thodi thodi raat hone lagi when the night was about to fade in began to feel as well as he might the keen demands of appetite so the poet is saying when the night began to fade in it was about night time it was getting really dark the Uh, nightingale she was sing singing since morning so yes she started to feel tired she started to feel the pangs of hunger now what are the pangs of hunger obviously she started to feel like hungry right the keen demands of appetite appetite kya hoti hai appetite is a hunger the need for food right easy not very difficult so the nightingale was very hungry she was singing since morning now she is hungry so she started looking around eagerly when looking around when looking eagerly around he spied far off upon the ground a something shining in the dark and knew the glowworm by his spark so stooping down from the hawthorn top he thought to put him in his crop now we hear let's simplify a bit what do you mean by stooping stooping is to bend down but she is sitting on the top of the tree and mama says she is bending down and trying to find out that what should he or she eat uh, he or she should eat why am i saying he and she because it's a nightingale it's a bird it can be a male it can be a female okay so from the hawthorn top hawthorn is a type of a tree uh, these types of trees are generally found in the northern hemisphere region okay so now she is extremely hungry and now she started to look around eagerly in search of food when from the top of the tree she saw on the ground she saw that there is something shining in the dark and the moment she saw or he saw the spark he could make out that okay this is a glowworm so ekdam se pata lag gaya so so stooping down from the hawthorn tree he thought to put him in his crop now when he stooped down further to check that okay this is a glowworm she immediately decided that okay i am going to eat him for dinner right the worm aware of his intent hand him thus right eloquent did you admire my lark quoth he as much as i your minstrelsy you would abhor to me wrong 
as much as I to spoil your soul. So now over here, the glowworm was immediately, he knew that, okay, I know what is the ill intention of this nightingale. She is going to, he or, he or she is going to eat me up. So he was immediately, he was aware of the ill intention of the nightingale. So he, what do you mean by harrant? Harrant means to say a loud speech, you know, in a very aggressive way, in, to criticize somebody. So he started to give this speech. And in this speech, he said, he asked the nightingale that, do you like my lamp? Do you like my, uh, this bright body? Because I like the way you sing. I love the way you're singing. So yes, do you, did you admire my lamp? As much as I or minstrelsy, minstrelsy, minstrelsy is singing. Like, you know, initially European ballads hote the, they say it's related to singing. So now in his speech, the glowworm is asking the nightingale that do you like my uh, lamp? Do you like my bright body? Because I like the way you sing. And I know that you would never want to destroy me or you would never want to do anything wrong to me. Just like I would never think of spoiling your song. I would never think of spoiling the way you sing. Right? This is what he says in this paragraph. For, for it was the same power divine taught you to sing and me to shine. That you with music, I with light, might beautify and cheer the night. So what do you mean by this? This is a contraction of it was. So it's a short form of saying, for it was the self-same power divine. Divine over here means God. Okay, in his speech, the glowworm is saying that both the glowworm and the nightingale has been created by the same creator. It's one creator, God is the one who has also created the nightingale and the glowworm and he is the one who has given both of these creatures their unique gifts. Their unique gift, how, how, how do they have their unique gift? The unique gift of singing, of beautiful voice has been given to the nightingale and the bright sparkling body has been given to the glowworm so that together in harmony and in peace they can live and make the night or the world a better place. They can, be, they can make the world cheerful and beautiful by their unique gifts. So by this paragraph, the poet is trying to put across a very powerful messages, uh, message to the reader. He's trying to say that we all should live in harmony and peace. We should not destroy each other. We should not waste uh, in our energy in competing with each other and unnecessarily destroying each other. We should rather live in harmony and peace and make a world a better place to live. Right? The songster heard his short oration and warbling out his approbation. Released him as my story tells and found my supper somewhere else. Now over here, who's the songster? Songster is obviously the one who sings the song. So over here, songster is referring to as the, the nightingale. Short oration kiss ne di? Short speech kiss ne di? Glow. Ne di? Who gave the short speech? The glow. So over here, the poet is saying that the nightingale heard the short oration, the short speech that was given by the glower and wobbling out his approbation. Wobbling is to sing pleasantly and you know very lightly. Approbation is basically to agree, to approve of something. So now the nightingale approved of whatever and he agreed to whatever the nightingale said. Okay, so now uh, wobbling over here means to sing very pleasantly. And appropriation is basically to approve, to agree. So we hear the poet is saying that after hearing the little speech that the glowworm uh, was saying, the nightingale agreed uh, with whatever the glowworm said that, okay, yes, we should live in harmony, we should live in peace. And now, as the poet says, he left the glowworm and he went somewhere else to find its sub. Clear? So this is a very easy poem. Basically, the crux of it is that the poet is trying to teach the humans to live in harmony and peace, to not fight with each other and create wars in the name of religion and on the name of these territories and little, little issues. They should rather try and make this world a very beautiful place because God has given every little creature their special unique gifts. Instead of destroying each other and making, you know, a nuisance all around, they should try and live in peace and harmony with each other. 
so i think uh, i have explained this poem pretty well but still if any of you have uh, any uh, queries or any doubts you can comment below and i am also available for online one to one uh, personal tuitions if you want to uh, take any tuitions from me you can definitely comment down below or perhaps uh, drop a mail on my email id thank you see you soon <laughs> bye bye please uh, like share and comment so that uh, you know this video can help more people more children like you thank you bye bye